As happy as we are to be back online here in New York, our thoughts turn to our loved ones who are defending us on this beautiful 4th of July. We go now live to the Yellow Sea where sailors aboard the USS Clarence E. Walsh are celebrating. We have Seaman Anthony Palmiera from Brooklyn, New York. Tell us, Seaman Palmiera, how you'll be celebrating Independence Day. Well, the captain's going to have a, a big barbecue on deck. And tonight we'll have our own fireworks. <laughs> Coming. Captain, all of our command systems crashed. Nothing's responding. Seaman Palmiera, can you tell us what's happening there? <laughs> Sit tight, Sam. I'll call you back. It's the Koreans, Mr. President. I recommend that we declare war immediately. If it was Korea, there would be 200,000 men coming over the DMZ right now. Maybe it was an accident. Maybe a, an exercise. A, a test launch gone wrong. That's impossible. The Koreans can't even detect the wall. Never mind track it on radar and sink it with a 30-year-old Chinese anti-ship missile. I have reason to believe the ship was crippled with an information warfare attack. Not a chance. The Walsh's systems are... Unhackable? The Walsh's EW suite is built on kernels first identified by two of the world's leading computational theorists. One of them was found dead in Peru last week. I'm about to pick up the other one. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm not sure what we've just witnessed here, but... I'm afraid something terrible My God. Occurred. Amazing what they show on TV these days, huh, Sam? World's gone crazy. I guess you're in the right business then, Doug. What are you doing here? I'm looking for a guy named Mylon Nedich. Heard he works for you. Lots of people work for me. Haven't you heard? First security company to make the Fortune 500. If you're looking for a job. I'm not. Is that so? You keep doing what you're doing, you'll just end up another unknown soldier. I'm not in it for the fame. Your buddy Nedich is dirty. Cut him loose. Unlike other employers, I don't cut people loose. If you got evidence against one of my guys, I'll help you bring him in. But I'm not gonna send a man up the river because you say so. Fair enough. Just stay out of my way. Thanks for the advice. In case you change your mind. I need you to bring in Zerkezi alive. What about Nedich? Nedich is another story. Isolate, simplify, complete. We're on the same page? Affirmative. How's it going, guys? This is Syndrome with Mission 6 of Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. This mission is called Hokkaido, so let's do this. After that guy lifts up his gun and looks both ways, then go ahead and head up here. Into this dark spot up here. And we're going to wait for him to turn around. As soon as he does, you can go ahead and go. Um, that guy you can take out with a sticky shocker. If you're not worried about how many people you take out. It makes things a little bit easier if you do. But the way I play... I don't have to take him out, so we don't. But like I said, it makes things a little bit easier if you do. Especially on the way back out. But that's alright. Now we're going to hide up here against the wall. And this guy is going to face us. And he should turn around, and when he turns around we can take our back off this wall and head toward the window to the right. Alright, out the window. And we're going to head for that window that's straight ahead on the building. going to go through this conveniently open vent. Ah, 
This squeaking is driving me crazy. Sounds like I'm walking on a family of parakeets. Ah, what a waste of time. Nobody uses hidden microphones to spy on anybody anymore. They use satellites. This is so ridiculous, I feel like an idiot. Find anything? <clears throat> Who are you? I'm looking for the same thing you're looking for. Microphones? Yeah. Did you find any? No! Where haven't you looked? I haven't checked the phones yet. Hm. I'll check there. I'm sorry. I promise I'll stop. Alright, we're just gonna choke him out. And now watch for the guard that should be... Yeah, right there. Watch for him. And after he passes the window, we're gonna come over here and get the first microphone. That's the first microphone, Sam. Five more to go. I'm on it. Okay, you can cut through the fabric right here on the left, but that'll cause a distraction later that we don't need. Shit. There we go. So I just hop over that wall and get against it. Wait for this guy to turn around and restart his rounds. Then we can come over here and switch to thermals. Because that guy's going to come through the doorway and as soon as he gets through there, go in behind him. Don't wait too long because he does turn to his right and he will spot you if you take too long. Fisher, looks like this place has kept a small staff on to take care of the retreat. Civilians? That's right. Don't let any of them get killed. I won't. You find any bugs? Yeah, they're everywhere. Can't get rid of them. Like a damn insectarium. I mean microphones, stupid. Oh, well, I looked a bit, but I didn't find any. A bit? What does that mean? Where did you look? Um, like, uh, on the table and stuff. You looked on the table for microphones? Yeah. Gee, did you find any? Uh, no. Ah, never mind. I'll look for them myself. Okay. Well, let me know if you need any help. Alright, as soon as they're done talking, be pretty quick and head over here to disable that mic. Next. And then hop over this wall and get into the bathroom. So head through the crawl space. If you're having trouble finding any of them, any of the mics, you can also switch to thermal or EMF vision and it'll sh they'll show up as well. So Now these guys we're going to need to distract. So hop up on this pipe or beam. I guess it's not really a pipe. And we're going to head all the way to the end. So the whistle works best here. Um, you can just put out the light uh, at the other side of that little courtyard there, but it doesn't work as well. So we're going to wait until they're all kind of in the same area. And then we're going to whistle and drop. Is someone moving around out there? Who? I don't know who. That's why I'm worried. There we go. Worked out perfectly. So since they're distracted, don't worry about how much noise you make. Just get in here. Yeah. No one okay. here. Got it. So we can reschedule this to there. Yes. Right. Ah, All no, right. I'm not sure we can do it. Yeah, but if he says that's true. So that Yeah. No, no. Okay. That's fine. An agreement we Got can it. live with. I think we can commit to that. That'll be fine. And there'll be what about you? one more yeah, microphone over here okay. by the yeah. phone. Yeah, got it. No. Maybe. We'll see. That's half of well, Otomo's microphone, yeah, Sam. New York. Yeah, Welcome I'll keep my home. eyes peeled for the so rest. So we can reschedule this to there. Yes, 
Right. Ah, no. Well, I'm not sure we can do it then. Yeah, but if he says... That's true. No. South Africans. No. No, no. That's fine. An agreement we can live with. I think we can commit to that. That'll be fine. All right, listen up. That was done. He's on his way, and he's not happy. What do you mean? He's on his way here? Our offices got turned over in New York, and he's worried about a leak. He's coming up here to tie up some nope. Sorry. <laughs> Good one. They're only yen. Not worth anything since the market crash. Not even worth the effort to pick him up. A penny saved. The offices got hit. By who? The feds? Who cares about the offices? What's this tie up loose ends thing? Not exactly sure. But this thing with the ship, maybe someone's onto us. But what if. Look, never mind all that. The boss is on his way and things are heating up. We knew that would happen, so just stick to the plan, get this place tightened up, and make sure that this little visit goes off without a hitch. Get moving! Okay, when they're done talking, we're gonna wait. Because that guard that's coming this way is gonna come into this doorway. And we're gonna wait for him to exit out of the door on the other side of that room. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Because he'll walk over to the door and then he will turn around. Just like that. So wait for him to actually leave the room no. before you take your back off this wall. And then wait to grab Nedich until that guard is walking away. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Got it. Gotcha, fool. Let's not make a scene. Who are you? What do you want? I want to know why you're protecting Zerkesi. How this place is involved. I won't talk. You're going to make me cut your throat and look for the words inside your neck. Oh, God. Please, let me go. You're not leaving here alive, Nenich. But if you tell me what I want to know, I can make the end a little easier for you. The blackout. We... We needed to keep Zerkezi safe after the blockout. And what about the Walsh? I don't know anything about the Walsh. You'll have to ask Shetland. Shetland? Yeah. She needed more data from Zerkezi after the blockouts. But we have everything we... Shetland knows what you're up to. Yeah, yeah. He's the boss. He gave the order to bring Zerkezi here. Where is he now? She's on his way here now by helicopter. That's Nidditch out of the picture, but we have a complication. There's a helicopter inbound. Shetland is aboard. Doug, why is he coming? Are you hearing Nidditch things? He was coming to see what Nidditch is up to. Let's just stay calm. Our assumptions are wrong. You still think Shetland's crooked? I still don't know. That's what bothers me. Find out what Shetland and Zerkesi are meeting. Now the reason why I shot out that light is because it's going to grab There's the nothing. attention of three nothing. different guards. Look, let's just forget it happened. That both of those guys are going in there, and then there will be another guard over here. It also provides darkness for us, but there will be another guard over too. here. I don't like this. Right there, that comes through and that completely clears out this next area for us. So just head through. And up into this vent. Okay. Now over here it's easier to see this guy if you don't have your goggles on. There's going to be a guard over here. There he is. Once you see him, head over here pretty quickly so that you don't get spotted. And put your back against this wall. And we're going to wait for him to pass us. 
And then we can sneak behind him. This voracious detrivore is considered by many to be simply a snail without a shell. Now I'll be pretty quiet through here and get this microphone. Sneak into this area on the left and grab another microphone. Next. And be careful because. Oh, well, he's not there now, but sometimes there'll be a guard in the hallway. But just make your way over here and turn off this light. That'll provide a little bit of a distraction later. And that guy up top, you don't have to worry too much about him. He can't really see us down here, so go ahead and head through. And then jump over, damn it, jump over that. I, I'm having a hell of a time with walls and railings. Alright, put your back against this wall. And you'll see up here, there's a guard. We're going to wait for him to turn around and leave. And then head back into the darkness. And we're going to wait. We'll see him come up to this door. And once he comes up to this door and turns around to head away from it, we're going to go in there. And that's going to distract the guard up top, which is good because it clears out the area for us to move forward. At least it should grab his attention. Damn it! I could have sworn I Bing. saw someone down there. Who is that? Alright. I thought I saw something. Perfect. Now we can head over here. Who switched off the lights? And Some disable the final mic. That's the last microphone, Fisher. Otomo will be happy. Otomo doesn't seem like the happy type. Ah, it's just the old samurai Zan Shin. He's really nice in person. Hmm. I've heard people say the same thing about Lambert. What does that mean? Lambert's nice. How many of his ex-wives have you spoken to? Forget this. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. I'm getting all paranoid. So now we're gonna head up here. And we're gonna wait. Oh, they're both gonna come up this way. Normally one will come up from the front over there. Where they came from. And one will come out of the door that we came in through. But that's okay. We'll just wait for both of these guys to leave. I'll head through that door to the left that we're going to go into, and you can just follow him. But if they're both going to go downstairs, I'm not going to complain. All clear. So we're just going to head to that door that's got the cloth in front of it at the end of the hall. Fisher, satellite imaging shows you're nearing some kind of tea house. Is there KZ's inside? That's our best guess. Gather as much info as you can before making your move. We might only get one shot at this. Ooh, that might be hard for you to see. It's pretty dark in there, but you're just crawling through that space. Uh, Douglas? What? The Koreans, they... They couldn't have. Douglas, I need to know the truth. The truth. <laughs> Did Oppenheimer know the truth? What about Roosevelt? Hey, the truth is what we need it to be. And the truth is, we did the right thing. What do you mean? 
Proof of concept worked. It was ugly, sure, but it's over now. You mean... you mean there will be peace? Well, peace isn't something that just happens, eh? It has to be enforced, just like in the old days. You know, Sheriff wears a shield, sure, but he also wears a, wears a gun. Gun? That's right. Oh my god. And we can't have that gun falling into the wrong hands, can we now, Abe? What? What are you... No! My god, Fisher, don't let Shutman escape. Is he a target? He's the target. Ah! Alright, so go ahead and hit that guy with a sticky shocker. And then head through this door. through this little hole here. Now don't just go haul an ass through that gate over there. Wait, because the helicopter's gonna leave and the lights that are on it can spot you. So wait here. Now there's a guy right there, but as long as you're really quiet, you don't have to worry about him. That's all your primary objectives, Fisher. We can extract you at any time. All right. There was also a guy on the left when you came through, and a guy right here, but none of them will see you as long as you move slowly and quietly. They're all blind, but they're not deaf. So now we're just going to head out the same way we came in. Try to stay as far away from the light source as possible. And then when you get out here, you've still got that one guard left from the beginning. So you can either wait for him to do his rounds, or you can do what I'm going to do and use a sticky camera to distract him. Where's that noise coming from? That'll bring his attention to that rock where he is conveniently looking away from us. And because of that, you can pretty much just nonchalantly walk down here to the extraction point. There you go. Mission complete. And the only two cancelled objectives are the ones that automatically get cancelled throughout the story. The rest are completed. And there you go. Just over 20 minutes, only knocked two people out, weren't spotted or anything. 100% completion. And you did it 100% stealth. So, thanks for watching guys, and subscribe to my channel for more videos.